Hey everyone, welcome back to part eight in topic three of our database class. And in this video, we're going to learn about how we can delete data in our database tables by using the SQL delete from statement. And the delete is very straightforward. It just deletes entire rows or a set of rows from a table. Okay, so we're not deleting values for a single column or two columns or whatever. We're deleting rows at a time. An entire row or multiple rows will be deleted. So we're not going to have to specify any column names after the delete, right? The basic syntax, the basic pattern is delete from, and then the name of the table from which you would like one or more rows to be deleted. And then optionally, you can specify filtering criteria so that the database knows specifically which rows you would like it to delete. Okay, so in this case, this entire statement is saying, hey, database, delete any rows in the employee table where the value of employee ID is equal to 29. Similarly, this example here is saying, hey, database, delete any rows in the employee table where the hire date is greater than the 22nd of January, 2021. Right? So if someone was hired on the 23rd of January, 2021, or the 5th of March, 2021, or the I don't know, 21st of September, 2022, all of those rows would be deleted. And finally, we see an example without a where, right? There's no where clause here. And as I mentioned, you can typically do the most damage with the least typing. So this statement without a where clause would delete every single row in the employee table. So again, just learn the pattern, delete from, the name of the table from which you want rows to be deleted, and then filtering criteria. The two final live examples. So we know that we have these project data out here. And let's see some deletes. So I will, uh, you can see we have two values out there where the project ID is 33 and the project ID is 1002. So I could do something like this. Delete from project. Where, oops, let's do that on a new line, where, sorry, I'm gonna do that on a new line, there we go. Where project ID is, I don't know, greater than 30. So if I were to run this, we can see two rows were affected. We now look at our data. You'll see that our previous projects that had project IDs 33 and 1002 no longer exist out here. We only have these ones remaining. Those whose project ID was not greater than 30. And of course, if we leave out the where clause, as I mentioned, we will delete all of the rows in the table. So this is going to delete everything in the project table. And if we now take a look, we'll see that our table is empty. 